This is Code.org, and I'm working on their CS Fundamentals course. Let's see here. Collect all the nectar using as few blocks as possible. Wow, we're only supposed to use 10 blocks. Okay, I'm going to dive right in because that's how I do it. Let's go ahead and hit move forward. And what am I going to do? Well, I want to get the nectar. Then what? Well, I'm going to want to move forward and move forward again because I have to skip over this and get nectar. Let's see how I'm doing. So far, so good. Now what? Well, that's already six blocks. Wow. Move forward. That will put me here. Move forward again. Get nectar again. Obviously, we're going to run out of blocks pretty quickly. See, I'm now at my limit. I have 11 blocks out of 10. Okay, so there needs to be a faster way to do this. Let's try using a loop. But there's not a clear pattern, right? So I can repeat this but there's not a clear pattern yet. Instead, what I'm gonna wanna do, I will need to repeat, I'm not sure how many times yet, let's say five. But I wanna go move forward, I think. Yeah, so I start without nectar. So first move forward, and then what? Well, if there's nectar, I mean, if there's a flower, I can get the nectar, right? So since I'm just gonna be running this five times, sometimes there's not going to be a flower. If I ask the computer to get nectar without a flower, I'm going to get an error. It stops running here. It says, you can only get nectar from a flower. So I have to first say, hey, computer, is there a flower here? And the computer will say, no, false. And that way, if it says false, it will then skip over, get nectar, hit the bottom, and go back to the top. But if it says true, yes, you are on a flower, say I was here, it would then run, get nectar. So I'm never going to run, get nectar when there's no flower. Let's try this now. Awesome. So obviously that wasn't long enough. So I guess six. Okay. And we're at five blocks. So now what? Well, hmm. This is going to get tricky. We're going to want to turn left, move forward, move forward, and turn left. I think. Well, then what are we going to do? Well, now I need to go up. So watch. I'm going to want to move forward, get nectar, right? But I'm going to run out of blocks. I can't do this whole side. So I could do repeat six times, just like I did up here. Move forward, if flower get nectar, and that will get me up to here. And I know we're over on uh, lines of blocks of code, but just wait. Okay, now what do I wanna do? Well now, try again. Now I wanna turn, because I wanna start back over here. I've used too many blocks. So now what would I wanna do? I wanna turn left, to get Okay, I'm going to move forward twice and then turn right because I'm trying to get us back. I mean, then turn left to where I started. So if I do all that, now I want to show you. These two chunks of code are identical. So we can actually put a repeat block and a repeat. There's no reason to do all of this, right? These are identical. So instead, I can get another repeat. I'm just going to put a two in it. I'm going to grab this whole big thing, drop it in, and I will repeat everything inside of this twice. So six times I'll move forward and check for nectar. Then I'll turn left, move forward, move forward, and turn left, end up here, hit the bottom of this, and go through it again. Now six more times I move forward, check for nectar, and I should end up where I started. Right now I have 10 blocks. Bam, if it let me keep going, I would have, but perfection. Onward.